Hi everyone, this is Joanna Tenaor, a criminal law to student of Attorney Dim Dulay, and I will be reporting about Article 310 of the Revised Penal Code entitled Qualified Theft. Article 310 Qualified Theft The crime of theft shall be punished by the penalties next higher by two degrees than those respectively specified in the next preceding article. If committed by a domestic servant, or with grave abuse of confidence, or if the property stolen is motor vehicle, mail matter, or large cattle, or consists of coconuts taken from the premises of the plantation, or fish taken from a fish pond or fishery, or if property is taken on the occasion of fire, earthquake, typhoon, volcanic eruption, or any other calamity, vehicular accident, or civil disturbance. So in the case of People v. Kok Song, GR number L45043, dated August 28, 1936. So the facts of this case are that on or about the second day of January 1936, the side accused did then and there willfully, unlawfully, and feloniously with intent of gain, with grave abuse of confidence, and without the consent of the owners thereof, who were then in his housemates, take, steal, and carry away the personal property, the clothes, the wallet, belonging to his roommate, who is named Lu Hock. That the said accused is a habitual delinquent having been convicted once of the crime of qualified theft and once of theft. Having pleaded guilty charges in the former information, the appellant was sentenced as author of the crime of qualified theft to four years, two months, and one day of prison correctional. So the issue in this case is whether there was abuse of, on, of confidence on the part of the defendant, being that they are roommates with the appellant. So for the ruling, the defense contends in this instance that the crime charge is simple theft. This court finds that this contention is well taken. The allegation in the information that the crime was committed with a qualifying circumstance of grave abuse of confidence is a mere conclusion of law. The only fact alleged is constituting said circumstances that the accused, had, the accused and the offended party were housemates when the crime was committed. While this fact constitutes a certain abuse of confidence because living together under the same roof, although accidentally, engenders some confidence, it is not necessarily grave there being no allegation in the information for another relation by reason of dependence, guardianship, or vigilance between the accused and the offended party that might create a higher degree of confidence between them, which the accused could abuse. So the crime charged being simple theft, it being understood that the principle imposed upon the appellant is 2 years, 11 months, and 11 days, and eliminating the order to pay the sum of 500 pesos to the offended party from the decision with the reservation of the civil action in connection with said amount. The appealed sentence is affirmed in all other respects with costs. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe and stay at home.